I'd like to today walk you through uh, one of our open source projects that we just put up, uh, put up on GitHub called Tab Migrate. So let's take a look at GitHub here. You can see at uh, github.com slash Tableau, we've got a list of our open source projects. Top of the list here at the moment is Tab Migrate. We'll click on that. And you can see that you are easily ready to download uh, either the setup where you can just run it without the source code or all of the source code itself uh, written in C Sharp. So what is Tab Migrate? Uh, Tab Migrate is a REST API using tool that we wrote that allows you to take an inventory of your Tableau server site's content to download it locally to your file system. That is all of the data sources, all the workbooks, and then to take that downloaded copy and to upload it to another server or site. Uh, so it allows you to migrate content from one site, which may be your testing or pre-production site, to another site, which may be your production site. Uh, because it's written using Tableau server's REST APIs, uh, and we're putting the source up here on GitHub, you can also develop your own REST API applications or modify it to suit your needs. So let's take a look at the application itself. I'm here in Visual Studio. Project is written in C Sharp. And I'm going to hit F5 and just run the application here. And you see it gives me a choice of options. I can either generate a CSV file of the site's inventory. I can export the contents of a site to a local directory on my machine or I can upload contents from my local file system into a site. So we're going to do all three here. I'm going to start off creating an inventory of my site. So I'm going to choose that option. And what it wants me to do is simply copy paste the URL to my site. So let's take a look at that site first. And here, I'm going to type in my login. and sign in. And you can see that my site has 29 workbooks, three projects, and 14 data sources. Great. So we're going to copy paste the URL of the site here. I'm going to put in my login credentials. And I'm going to choose to download all the content I can. And I'm going to run it. And then very quickly, uh, you'll see the log results here as it's running and making its REST API calls. It has now taken an inventory of my site. So I can see uh, in this spreadsheet, in my CSV file, I've got a list of all the projects. You can see I've got three projects in my site here. All of the data sources inside those projects all of the workbooks, the users, and groups. So it's a good way. I can now upload this into Tableau and do analysis on the content of my site. Now let's take this same URL, and we're going to use it to download all of the content into my local directory. So I'm going to copy-paste here. And I'm going to put my login here again. And I could also, if I wanted to, export content that only had a certain tag. For instance, I may want to tag my content with export or export from a single project. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose to download all of my content. So let's take a look at that site again. And we've got 29 workbooks, 14 data sources in three projects. So we're going to click Export Site. And one of the nice things is while it's running, it's actually also generated us the command line that we can use to run this uh, without any UI. So we can always copy paste the command line here. Now, I can see that it's actually downloading all of the data sources. It'll then download the workbooks. And it's giving me a step-by-step log of all the REST API calls that are being made. So it's a great way to learn what's actually going on when we use the REST APIs. We can see that it's continuing to download here. And when it's done, there it is, it just finished, 
uh, it's opened up my directory. Uh, so my directory has a data sources subdirectory and a workbook subdirectory. Inside each of these is a directory for each of my projects. So I can see I've got a default project, a project called engineering ops, and a sales project. If I click into this project, here are all my workbooks. So very quickly, I'll do a right click here, and we can see that there are 14 files in two folders here, uh, representing all of the data sources that we've downloaded. Now that was good. Let's try to do uh, the converse operation. Let's try to actually upload all this content into another server. And for that purpose, I've got a server here. I've set up a virtual machine to run it. And we'll open that up in a browser and take a look at what's in there. And I will, I'm going to log in with the credentials for that server. And we can see that this site actually has zero workbooks, zero views, uh, zero data sources, and one project. It has the default project. So this is the before. We're going to switch to our application here. And we're also going to grab this directory that we just downloaded into. First, I'm going to copy paste the URL that I want to upload into. We're going to grab this directory that I downloaded to. We'll paste that up here. And we'll put in sign in credentials here. And I'm going to click publish. And once again, we've generated the command line. So if I wanted to run this without the UI, I could do that. And we've got a list of all the operations that are now taking place as we're uploading uh, first our data sources and then our workbooks. Now, one important thing to notice is that I've got this checkbox here that says remap workbook data server references. What this means is all of the, all of the workbooks that I downloaded that were using published data sources uh, have server URLs to them. So they're pointing to my old server. What I need to do when I upload them to my new server and site is I actually need to remap those workbooks. I need to open up the workbook and modify the XML in its definition to point to my new server. Uh, and then we've got code that shows how to do that. But that allows the workbooks now to be successfully published and use data sources that are published to my new server. Now we'll see how we're progressing here. I'm going to refresh this page. And we can see that we've got 11 workbooks and 14 data sources. Looking good in two projects. We'll switch back here. We can see that we've logged 348 operations so far. And we're going to continue to log as we go along. And the logs really have a lot of detailed data. So if something goes wrong, you're going to see a great deal of data there to help you debug what's going on. We'll switch back and see how we're progressing. We now have 21 workbooks. And then as we're uploading here, you'll see, you'll see it writing about file chunks. And we'll take a look at some of this code as well. Uh, it's important to note that when we upload large files that are tens of megabytes, perhaps gigabytes, they get uploaded in discrete chunks. That, that ensures that your client is reliably able to upload the entire file, that you don't hit or, you know, it's not all or nothing. You continue uploading all the chunks, each chunk goes successfully, and then server puts them together uh, on, the, on, on the server. That's how desktop works as well. So if we go here, we can now see that we've got 29 workbooks, 14 data sources, and three projects uploaded. And if I click projects here, I can actually see there's my engineering project, here's my sales project. I'll click in here, and we see all the content successfully uploaded. So that is the entire usage of Tab Migrate. Let's take a quick look at the source code as well for some of the more interesting parts here. And see that, as I noted, this is a C-sharp application. Uh, the first file of note that you see is 
Uh, inside the directory REST helpers, inside this folder, there is a Tableau server signed in request base. This is the base class that all of the REST APIs use. It ensures that when we make a request to Tableau server, that we're putting the right authentication information into the request headers. So if I go into the REST requests folder here, you'll see that there is a class for each kind of request we can make. If we're downloading a data source, that's in the download data sources. We can see that that derives from the class Tableau server signed in request base that I just mentioned. If we want to take an inventory and get the list of data sources, that's this class. Similarly, if you want to upload data sources, another class for that. So they're all structured in that way. The server data folder uh, has classes that represent all of the kinds of data that we can download from Tableau Server through the REST APIs. So if we're downloading information about tags, that's in the site tag. If we're downloading information about projects, it's in the projects tab, data source, and so on. Another very interesting class to take a look into, or I should say classes, are all of the MIME writer classes. MIME is a multi-part document. So there are certain Tableau REST API requests that are complex. They have multiple parts. Uh, the chunked upload of files is an example. You've got chunks of files and then information about them. These all use the MIME writer classes. So those will be very interesting for those of you looking to understand in detail how you can put multi-part requests uh, up to the REST APIs. And the final set of classes uh, that are quite interesting are the workbook transforms classes. When I was talking about remapping data, data server references inside workbooks, that's what these classes do. One of them works on TWIBs, which are workbook files, the TWB files. The other works on TWIBXs. Uh, TWIBXs are effectively zip files that contain TWIBs. So this knows how to unpack those zip files how to modify the XML, how to repack them so that you, you can do transformations. So if you're interested in doing modifying workbooks and resaving them, you'll find this of great interest. Well, I hope uh, that's the end of the demo. I hope you enjoy the samples, uh, both in using them as an application as well as learning from its code. Uh, and once again, I'll bring up that GitHub page. If you go to GitHub, Tableau, you see all of our open source projects here. And then specifically uh, inside this page, you're able to go to tab migrate. And I'll zoom that out here. So take a look at GitHub, take a look at the source code, and uh, have fun. Thanks.